You don't need no card trick You don't need no sleight of hand Don't need a rabbit or a hat to help me understand Everyone's been asking, why'd you start working on the abandoned cabin at the lake? I don't need convincing, it's so easy to see Every little thing you do is magic a few months ago, we started working on the abandoned lakefront cabin. It was a complete disaster. We ripped off the walls. We found tons of moldy, wet insulation, mouse carcasses, warfarin in the roof. We ripped off the shingles, redid the underlayment, and then we stopped. But today, we're gonna start working on it again. As you can see, we dusted off the roof panels. First step before we get up on the roof is to mark every screw hole on the metal down here so everything remains perfectly straight and in line. Because we have sheathing and underlayment on this roof, we can just pre-drill our holes and that's where our screws, roofing metal screws that have washers are going to go in as well as all the other places that need to go. We're gonna move left to right because the wind normally comes from the lake. So you wanna go with it, not against it. And we just gotta figure out how we're gonna get these metal sheets up. Kind of thought of plans, but I think I'm really just gonna go simplistic now. I just saw something online. I think it's gonna work. We are laying this beautiful silver metal roof. I cannot wait to see what it looks like. I don't know if anyone has ever seen silver tin roof cabins. They're a vibe. Goal is achieved. We have three panels standing upright exactly where they're meant to be slid onto the roof. This is all with the goal in mind of not having to go up and down and maneuver the panels. So we are ready. Let's see how it goes. I think this is genius. I can't get over it. That simple. Just rest them on your roof where they're going up. Who would have known? This is how to do a roof with two. All right, I'm adding the easy closure foam to the bottom of the drip edge and it helps with moisture and all that, I believe, and just like breathability. I think just breathability, actually. I'm sure it does something for moisture. And you'll notice that our drip edge is already on. You'll notice we did try to do this roof another day, but let's flash back to what happened that day. Almost lost a couple nails. <laughs> and I don't mean roofing nails. I want you all to pause the video and just take a guess in the comments who got hurt, Jazz or Crystal. <laughs> How many of those are we gonna lose? <laughs> oh! How many fingers are we gonna lose? <laughs> it's healing. <laughs> okay, you ready? Uh, yeah. Do they still work? <laughs> it's uh, been a while. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know if you're like, can you leave your roofing rope outside? Because we have since spring. I mean, it feels nice. I'll just get acquainted. Talk to you on top. Jasmine has made it onto the roof. <laughs> there she is. Let me remind you all. This is a 12-12 pitch. It's pretty steep. My ankles. Yeah, already. I'm remembering this. Yeah, they are. And um, we're just about to throw the first piece up. And we're oh. going to have to work on getting that nice and square because the first piece is the most important always, as we know, because after that, you could end up with a not so square roof on your house. Just be who you are. Be who you are, Just be who you are. Just be who you Just be who you are. I feel like an Olympian boulder. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> do this. <laughs> okay, not gonna lie, y'all. We're having fun! We're having so much fun. <laughs> the funniest part is, is we have only two panels up, but I'm still celebrating. It's just really funny because it's really hard to capture, but so much of the day goes into remembering 
every detail with roofing, where the screws go, getting things square, getting your tools together, all that jibber jabber. And now we finally have two pieces on the roof and it looks phenomenal. I can't knock it over the color. It is just so perfect and neutral for down here. Love it so much. It's stunning and it's gonna look so good and we're gonna crush it. Literally. <laughs> Roofers need a hearty breakfast. <laughs> Do they ever? Might need to get a bigger harvesting basket. Thank you Sundays for Dogs for sponsoring this week's video. When we feed the girls, what we feed them is what matters most. Thank you Sundays for putting Whole Foods first and for making it convenient to feed your dog healthy food. It's a mind blowing fact, but it's true. Sundays is only one of two foods in all of the US that offers full balanced nutrition for your dog with zero fillers and synthetics. Gosh, it almost hurts to say it. It's actually food. And as always, Sundays is offering 50% off your first order of Sundays for our viewers. Use code VanWives. Our dogs are our best friends. We all know that. We hold them so close to our hearts. They are a huge part of our every day. And there's a few things within our control that we can do to try and keep them living the longest they can, like getting them outside for lots of exercise and feeding them the best food possible. Sundays is 90% meat and 10% superfoods. Our supervisors can't recommend Sundays enough, and you'll love it too. There's no prep, no mess, no refrigeration required. It's convenient. They're on a mission to become the world's healthiest dog food. Day two of roofing. And how good does it look? This silver is really bringing this cabin to life. Not only does it look great, but we are having fun roofing, which I think is the number one goal to all projects. Roofing is fun. When we came down here this morning, I was like, ah, the metal. It made me so excited to see it just because we're having fun doing it. Pre-drilling your holes is definitely an amazing feeling because the panels just go on so much better. Day two is starting a little bit different. Crystal is currently putting up our last piece of underlayment. If you missed that episode, you should watch it. Underlayment is a wonderful thing, and especially this underlayment. Not only is it really good for the roofers as it allows for a nice grip on your foot, you don't slide down, it also acts as a membrane for moisture, water, and heat because metal roofs do heat up obviously a lot as metal conducts the heat and then if you were to use any other material it would melt because the metal gets so hot and then it drips down your house which is not good as well as because it has like a butyl tape underneath it very sticky stuff something like sticky tack we're probably all more familiar with it seals every screw that we put in making it 100 percent watertight if water were to ever go underneath the rubber washers on roofing screws they shouldn't but you do need to replace them every 10 years and things happen i've cut out the anchors as you can see there's a slit right through this last piece of the underlayment they're gonna stay here. We don't know if this is the correct way to do it. We have also, sorry, the silver is so bright in my eyes right now. We have done a lot of research, reached out to a lot of people, and to be honest, you can also re-anchor yourself over on the other side, but we really like these anchors, how they're on a swivel and they go back and forth. You don't have to do any re-anchoring when you go to the other side of the roof. And to be honest, you do need to replace these screws every 10 years. So we're thinking we're just gonna leave our anchors up here and in 10 years, when they need replaced, all we do is hook our lanyard in and we're golden. Kind of seems like a no brainer to me just to leave it on up there. Obviously, if you're a roofer, you probably wouldn't do this because you're roofing many roofs, but this is my roof. Mom's on the roof. So I'm right here. It's done. Ready for the next panel? Ready for the next panel. It's, all it's about to go off. Boom, boom, boom. It's about to go off. Boom, boom, boom. 
it's about to go off Boom, boom, boom I like to dance when it is a mood I need a spotlight, big as the moon Hands on the clock, go four, three, two It's about to go off Bye, bye, metal shavings Bye, bye, metal shavings just coming up here to tell you that we will never not pre-drill our metal for the rest of time. Sitting in the sunshine, oh it feels so nice. Purring like a cat, cause you know I got nine lives. Pale number five went on so fast. Fast. There's two of us. Bam, bam, boogie. <laughs> The last screw is going in, everyone. Maybe we should do metal siding. Really? It just goes on so fast. It's like four feet. It ain't wrong. True. This is four feet wide and long. You get perfect with panels. What are those eyes? True. Riffing. <laughs> I'm so glad we took a step back from this cabin and came back all these months later because it feels so good and refreshing. Our bodies were tired and sore after we took the shingles off this roof and put the underlayment on. And because it was no hurry worry, here we are, you know, late summer, it's not 30 degrees anymore. We aren't absolutely sweating our butts off. We can wear our roofing pants and feel good about it. So I'm just super excited to be on this roof. I'm feeling really confident. I'm not scared. And that's because I feel safe and I feel qualified. I feel like we right. are doing it right. And then just, you know, it feels great. I'm, I'm so proud of us for, we've got half a roof done here, babe. I know. It's actually wild. <laughs> it is wild and it's fun. And we have six sheets already pre-drilled, ready to go. Yeah. So a little message to you, you know, a little rest. You always come back hotter. Something else that's really cool about this Surefoot product is that if you do see a hole or something punctures it, AKA Jazz and Crystal with the metal right here, <laughs> all you have to do is just make a pouch, patch, not pouch, patch. Pouch, patch. <laughs> oh, I went on the metal. You got in there? In your pouch? Thank you. Don't cut the under one. I just have to patch it if I do. <laughs> I won't though. It's like a band-aid. So as we're doing the roof, we're also looking for like anything that could have fallen on it. Imperfections. Any imperfections to make it perfection. You'll notice when we're both up there is we are going down one row and then back up and then down and up. And that's because metal needs to stretch. And if you were to put one in this end and then this end, your metal could bevel in the middle. So we have a nice strategic plan of going up and down. And that also keeps your metal very square, which is what you need. You'll find out at the end how square you are. But so far, all of our edges are 100% perfect and square. And there are, let's play another guessing game, because why not? There are, guess how many screws are in each sheet of metal? 59. That's pretty good. 59 screws in two panels in 30 minutes. That's where my brain was going. You mean 59 panels in... 59, 59 screws, screws in, in each, each panel. panel. So 59 times two, but we just did in 30 minutes. Nice, girl. Can I have some? Screws? Mm -hmm. I was just down there. But yes, yeah, you may. Thanks. That should be enough. And you might be wondering why 59 screws, that's a lot. Well, you need to have double in your end panel that's going to have the overlap. The smaller one overlap the bigger fold. Hmm. And then you need to screw in every two feet along the right side of the rib. Yeah, as well as the bottom always gets... Double. Double. And that's... And then so does the top will have double too. We haven't done that. I'm just going to do that when I do the ridge line. But that is obviously for like wind and whatnot to keep yeah. it really secured. We are on the last piece of metal and we're also finding out how square we did this. Or how square the house is even, right? I have 14 and a quarter. It's 15 and one eight. Put your hands together for Jasmine, the metal shear. 
with her magical metal shears, which are only good for very few tasks around here. But today, they get put to use. So a friend had these and I thought it was so cool. And maybe I'm just not using the tool right or I should watch a couple more videos. But like, obviously the name, they got metal. But they honestly do nothing else and really just straight lines. Use people, them like twice a year. Use, <laughs> not even. And they are actually qu quite expensive. I actually can't believe I purchased this tool considering it took me four years to buy like a hand planer which is a quarter of this price. <laughs> and we use it every day. And we use it every day. This was, I don't think this tool is worth it. I'm gonna be honest. I could use a grinder or a jigsaw or like, I the hand know. metal cutters. Yeah, like for how many times you do it. Oh my god. They do cut a really perfect straight line. I will give them that. They're good at their job, but they're only good at their job. Unless you're a huge fan of your metal shears, tell us why. Would love to know. I know if I'm using them right. <laughs> give us some more reasons to use this tool. You can wrap gifts with these too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Most expensive bow. This, my friends, is the last piece of metal. I cannot take this all the way up to you. I don't know if you heard that. I can hand it all the way up. Oi. Orange. No, it's too big. It's also too small on this side. We cut the last piece wrong. 14.5 is supposed to be at the top and 15.5 is supposed to be at the bottom. And we did it opposite. The last piece. Which sucks. We're on the second side of the roof today and I have a great idea. I just need to find it. In this mess. It may look like a mess, but I know where everything is. Anyone else have a garage like this? Got him. All four. I don't know if any of you have ever tried to set up scaffolding. Let me tell you. It is actually kind of hard to put up. Yeah. It's just awkward. It's like big and chunky and heavy. We have the wheels for this. This could either go really bad or be really good. And we're gonna try to push it or drag it or pull it with the tractor and hope it doesn't flip over on us. We're not dragging it with the tractor. <laughs> we're not dragging it with the tractor. It has flipped over on Crystal before. And what do we, what do we talk about? If the scaffolding falls, what do we do? I don't want to put the position. We do not try to catch the scaffolding. We run away. Okay. okay? She tried to catch it. <laughs> um, okay, ready? I think this is why roofers have a crew. Set up crew, clean up crew. Someone who puts the metal in, someone who lifts the metal or the shingles up. Scaffolding is probably the best thing that we have for roofing, mm -hmm. but I think it's also the worst. <laughs> like, it's just the worst. I hate putting it up. I'm tired already now. It's exhausting. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you ever want yeah. to know what a cicada looks like, we found one. And it doesn't seem to mind that we're nice and close and we're filming it. It's about two inches long and I'm pretty sure that's a baby because they get pretty big. They look like aliens. Yeah, they're little aliens. Their eyes are pretty wide. Side number two is going to be done a little bit different because of the uneven ground. Thank gosh for Clementine because I'm about to be her load. I'm gonna go up on the forks. That way we can square up our first piece which is all the way at the front of the cabin perfectly and then we can work our way back. Like we said before, that first piece is the hardest and needs the most attention to detail. I can feel the change within my bones. There it is. You like Here goes the first piece on the trickier side. Just believe and you receive all the good that's coming. Hi. Where's mom? Yeah, she's up there. First piece is getting screwed in. That went a lot faster than I anticipated. This side has a chimney, and obviously we want our house to be watertight right now. We're tired of it raining inside, so we have underlayment on top of it, but that risks you from stepping on that and going right through the roof because obviously underlayment doesn't support a human being. So I gotta toss Crystal up a marker. That way she can make a big X marks the spot so we don't put our feet there. Do you want it now? Sure. Ready? Almost. Throwing it right at me. Girl, nice. Well, the bottom row is always the scariest, so I'm gonna try to climb back up the tractor and uh, maybe do a couple bottom screws. <laughs> I just might get real dirty, but it's okay. I've been wearing the same outfit for the last three days. Let's go! Let's go! We'll keep moving on top. Let's go! Let's go! Won't stop till we get to the top. No. Our last roll. We made it. Oh, is, is that camera on? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm getting real close. <laughs> and it's black out on the... How are we doing it? The silver looks really nice at this time of night. Ignored. <laughs> they look so pretty though, like you can really take it in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I look so wrecked. I was just about to say how we were crushing the roof and the roof's crushing me, but I mean, you can just see for yourself. <laughs> you did great. Yeah, we crushed it. We honestly did such a great job, but... I'm so tired, like mentally, physically. We talked about this last time. Mentally and physically, you're just working at 100% capacity, if not 110, because you're in like a high area and you want to do it well. You want to do the job well. You don't fall. And you're just trying to like watch the rope and watch your feet and keep your balance and your muscles are working the whole time you're up there. <laughs> and so. It's fun though, I have to say, it's so fun. I don't want to stop. We don't have to if you are going to do it. I, I mean, you're not going up. I mean, that means you have to stop. <laughs> I'm not going up anymore. No, no, but even you on like the scaffolding, it's not. Uh, I don't Tired care. and heights? I don't care to be on the scaffolding. Yeah, until you fall. No, I'm not going to fall off a scaffolding. 
Never say never. Honestly, oh, big day even setting up and doing everything. And we just have one full sheet and a cut sheet. And then comes the fun work of uh, metal origami. Oh, you had to remind me, eh? I'm sorry. I know. It's super fun though, I have to say. I am still having a good time. The only time I wasn't having a good time was when I was moving the scaffolding. <laughs> I love the scaffolding now though. I know. How much easier is this side with I the know. scaffolding than this one? Oh. That's what we mean by love, hate, y'all. Yeah, scaffolding. I did love the tractor though, it was quite fun. <laughs> oh my god, the moon, Crystal! Now that's a full moon. And it's red. <laughs> it looks so big over the lake. Sometimes it's important to stop working. So you can go and look at nature. Probably. The best part about roofing at this time of year, the very end of the summer, is that it's so mild. It's not hot, we've got overcast, it's not raining. It is the perfect temperature. You couldn't ask for better conditions. So when we're up there, you know, we can see easily, it's not too sunny, and we're not sweating our butts off. I still can't believe that we're on the second side. I feel like this roof has flown by. We've only been up there a number of hours and we are one and a half panels away from being done. I think by the end of today, we're gonna be able to say we have a new roof. It looks so good. It's so square. Both sides are chef's kiss and this color, the silver, you can really see it on a day like today with the overcast. It is just stunning. The way that this blends in with the natural environment around here, it almost looks like the same color as the bark on those birch trees. I'm so happy with how it's turned out. Just as we're going up, we are graced with a light mist of rain. We're still going up. We've all climbed up wet metal slides. She told me to embrace my inner <laughs> child like I'm running up a slide. At the age of seven, everyone has. Just give her your all, and if you slip, it's okay. We're in the last two pieces. Yes, okay. so Here we go. let's go. It's slippery. <laughs> oh my god, no. No, I can't. It's hardly wet. You don't, it's hardly wet. Famous last words until she eats on the roof. <laughs> That sound. I'd say you got off just in time. It's coming down. We have a problem, everyone. Doesn't matter how many roofs you lay in your life, there's always something you learn. <laughs> we are about to do the rake gable trim on this end of the roof. Turns out it lands Right on a rib. Not good. So we called the roofing manufacturer. What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? And right away we have the answer of getting custom w larger width rake. <laughs> rake rake trim. Wow, that was a tongue twister. Anyways. They taught us more too. So there's other gable there rake things. There's tons of different options and trims, so we have to get a custom piece to go on this side. But that doesn't mean much because there's still loads of trim to do and we'll put this on very last. Here we have some scrap metal as a template. That will be our peak. And over here, all this cuts and origami is going to be at the corner right there.
because our back rake is not going to fit, I'm gonna continue doing the origami on the front corners and we're gonna divide and conquer. Jasmine's gonna crush out as much of the ridge cap as she can right now. And then we'll be onto our final pieces once we get them. Take a look at that roof. I don't know if you all noticed, but our cabin looks like it has a face on it. And now that we've done the trim on the front, it looks like our cabin got some hair. Our cabin is a silver fox. Like you, Bear. Silver fox now. Well, Crystal did origami, and she decided to do it the hard way. Different than our template. Will it fit? You think it's gonna fit, Crystal? Yeah. Yeah? Are you confident? Yeah. Damn. That looks good, girl. Remember when we said we're gonna keep our anchor on? Well, that was probably not the smartest decision we've ever made in our lives. Um, so here I am anchoring to my tractor because I actually have to grind those anchors off now because I can't get at them. Noise! The last ridge cap. But we can't put it up and that's because we need the custom rake, but I have to say, I would call that a job well done and a job finished. I'm celebrating, because I think that was the best roof the two of us have ever done in our entire lives. Smooth sailing, y'all. And so you all don't think we're still 98% girlies because we are 100% girlies. Here is a drone shot of the finished See you Sunday! Ciao, Pack!